Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Sonia from Nino's Crafty Life. In today's video, I will be walking you through how to make stickers with your Cricut. So let's get started. Some things you'll need besides your Cricut machine and a printer are sticker paper. I get mine from onlinelabels.com. They have different types, so depending on what type of stickers you're making, make sure you purchase the correct kind. If you're making stickers that will not come into contact with water, then you can use the standard white sheets. But if you want your stickers to be water resistant, then make sure you get the weatherproof sheets. I'll also be using a brayer, scissors, a scraper, and Avery self laminating sheets. These are optional, but they do add an extra layer of water protection. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up Cricut Design Space and insert a square. Then change the dimensions to 6.75 by 9.25. I also like to change the color to something lighter so I could see everything better. Now we can start designing. I'll be using all images from Cricut Design Space, so I will click on images. You can also use images that you have previously uploaded. Now I'm going to scroll through and find images I like and insert them onto my canvas. You can resize your images by changing the measurements here. Now you want to make sure that you change the operation type to print then cut. I'm also going to add an offset which is a border around the stickers and you can make this as thick or thin as you want. By default it will be black but you can change the color to whatever you want. Then you will select the offset and image and click on the flatten button located on the lower right corner and this will make it all one layer. Go ahead and repeat this step for all your images and arrange them on your square. I like to think of this as playing Tetris and the reason for this is to get as many stickers out of one sheet. Now once you have all your stickers ready to print, click on make it. If you notice in the project preview screen, you can see that it split our project onto three mats and that is not what we want. So click on cancel. Hide the square by clicking on the eye icon next to it in the layers tab. And now drag your mouse across to select all the images, then click attach. Now when we hit make it, we can see it's all on one sheet. Click continue to print out your stickers. I use system dialog to print and select the best print quality. Enter your sticker sheet into your printer and then click on print. Once that has printed, I add my laminating sheet. I trim it so that it just covers the inside square. And remember, this is optional.
I use my scraper and brayer to smooth everything out. Take your time with this step so that you don't have any air bubbles. Now place this on your cutting mat. I'm using my strong grip mat because I like to use the poster board setting to make sure that it cuts through the laminate to get perfectly dyed cut stickers. If you want your stickers to be kiss cut, then you can use the printable sticker setting and use the light grip mat. Go ahead and load that into your Cricut to cut out. Once that's done cutting, remove your stickers from your mat. And here is a look at the final product. I think these turned out great and will be perfect for adding them to water bottles or even your laptop. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Also, make sure that your Cricut machine is calibrated, otherwise you might end up with stickers that look like these. They could be salvaged by manually trimming the edges, but of course, it would be better if we avoided this issue altogether. So make sure you calibrate your machines. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and of course, I would love it if you subscribed. Thanks for watching.